Hello, and welcome to the Inyo Pools How-To Guide section. Today, we will be talking about how to read a pool motor label. In this how-to, we will provide an explanation on the stats and ratings listed on a pool pump motor label. When attempting to find a replacement pool motor, not all these ratings are necessary, but it's good to know just in case. The model number is the easiest way to identify your pump motor replacement. Manufacturers like AOS Smith do not have a set format for their model numbers. This is dependent upon the specific pump the motor is to be matched with. For example, an AO Smith motor that is compatible with Pentair brand pumps may have a model number of B853 or BN24, but an AO motor meant for a Hayward pump will have a model number of UST1102 or ST1152. On the motor label, there may be a second model number listed. This number generally will begin with either a C48, C56, K48, or K56, followed by four to nine letters and numbers. An example of this style is a C48134B1. Not all manufacturers call the model number by that name. Century Electric refers to theirs as a part number, which has its own unique format. A century part number consists only of digits and is in the form of x xxxxxxx xx Extract the middle six digits from that part number and enter it into our search engine for an exact result. A motor model number of any of these varieties can be entered into Enyo's product search engine and an exact match can be found. Serial number this number can identify where and when your motor was made. It cannot help you track down the replacement. At best, you can use this number to contact the manufacturer to narrow the search. Horsepower, HP. This rating on your pump is the same as the horsepower rating in your car because it is the measure of the power output for your motor. For a residential pull pump, the range of HP is 0.5 to 3. The first thought for new pool owners replacing a motor is to think bigger is better. That a more powerful motor leads to a better running or cleaner pool. That is not necessarily the case, although you must take into consideration that a new impeller and possibly a new diffuser may need to be bought to accommodate the new motor. The added pressure may also overwhelm your filter system if it cannot handle the extra water surging through it which may damage your filter or piping. A full explanation of this rating would take forever. But the short of it is that if you multiply the horsepower by the service factor, the result is the total horsepower of your motor. Service factor for pumps is broken into two categories, uprated and full rated. It is easy to determine which category your pull pump motor falls into if your label states the SF is 1.27 or below, it is uprated. Anything above it is full rated. Frame, FR. The point where the motor and wet end meet to become the pull pump is called the flange. The end of the motor that connects to this flange can be shaped into several ways and this configuration is rated on the motor label under the category of frame. The FR of the pump motor is generally one of four configurations, 48Y, 56Y, 56J, 56C. The number 48 or 56 denotes diameter of the motor casing. The letter at the end tells you the shape of the connection. Y is square, C and J note a circle flange. As with a circle peg into a square hole, a Y frame will not hook into a C or a J. Amps. When you take a look at the power bill and want to know why it is so high, look no further than this rating. Amps will be listed according to volts. Volts equals 115 divided by 230. The amp rating will be listed respectively, for example, 16.0 slash 8.0. The lower the amps, the bigger the savings. Your pump may have an energy efficient EE replacement motor available that can be substituted for a standard type. The EE and standard motors do not differ in their operation or installation, but only in the amount of amps drawn. The EE model drawing a quarter to a third less. Revolutions per minute, RPM. An RPM rating of 3450 is universal for residential single speed pumps. If you have a dual speed, this rating will be 3450-1725. Phase, pH, denotes whether the motor operates on single phase AC current or three phase AC current. Three phase motors are generally used for commercial purposes. 
Ambient temperature, AMB. Displaying the highest environmental temperature tolerance the motor can withstand. This rating is usually listed as 50 degrees Celsius. Converted to Fahrenheit, that comes to about 122 degrees, which would not be a concern unless you live in the Sahara. Time. This denotes the time the motor can operate between shutoffs. Pull pump motors are listed as CONT for continuous, meaning the motor can run 24-7 without brakes. For normal operation of your pull, this round-the-clock pumping is unnecessary. A 6-8 to eight hour run of your pump will keep water clean and clear, as well as save you on the power bill. No, not all pumps will have a time label. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to call us toll-free at 1-877-372-6038 or visit us online at www.nyopools.com.